you know the voice if you've been here before but if this is your first time it's me high definition here to bring you what seems to be the definitive marvel video game experience enough to help you take your mind off delayed avengers patches even making the wait for mcu content a bit easier to handle did I also mention that it's pretty much a finished project that is still being updated with content? If that didn't get your attention, I don't know what will. But before I get to that, a like would be super appreciated. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for more content like this. With that, let's talk about... Marvel Infinity War, the game, not the movie. Whether you're a fan of the MCU, comics, or both, there's something to enjoy for everybody here. With a roster of at least about 80 characters that all play quite differently, four player co op, the inclusion of remakes of possibly the best retro Marvel video games of all time. Yeah, Marvel Infinity War the game not the movie at the same time gives you the warm feelings of saturday morning nostalgia in every screen but also sparks the realization that a game by one man is taking a hulk sized dump on the mediocre modern marvel gaming experiences as of late you heard me right this game was made by one man z vidor a talented old school dc and marvel fan that fueled their love of video games from the 16-bit era into a handful of great beat-em-up mods featuring the most popular characters in comic book history. Some other games they worked on includes mods of the Justice League, Dungeons and Dragons, God of War, Mortal Kombat, and even Street Fighter. I mean, this guy works and I'll no doubt leave all their info in the description below. But now that I've told you a bit about the creator, let's finally get back to talking about the game you came here for. Like I said before, Marvel Infinity War is inspired by the old school beat em up games from the Super Nintendo era. Most specifically, this is a mod of Beats of Rage, which Beats of Rage itself is a fan made mod of the Streets of Rage games where assets from the King of Fighter games were used. With that knowledge in mind, like where do I even begin here? Well, Marvel Infinity War follows almost the same idea of using multiple assets from different Marvel games from that 16-bit era, but it will hit you out of nowhere with the amount of custom sprites, characters, and enemies you'll see included in this game. I mean, oh my goodness, we not only have multiple abilities for this whole list of characters, but trust me when I say they all feel different and they are all powerful. Sometimes these characters will have a healing factor and be able to heal while walking or standing still like Wolverine, Deadpool, and X-23, or the ability to block bullets by standing still or by using certain moves like Luke Cage or even Emma Frost. Some characters may have super strength or a metal arm like Winter Soldier and can punch and throw enemies across the screen. Or my favorite, different specials and ultimate moves all together by picking a new costume choice or by getting to half health on a final life. Some characters like the Scarlet Witch and Rogue, for example, actually get more special moves available than most of the roster. There's even those unique characters with unique traversal options like Spider-Man, who's fun as hell by the way. You can even play as mother effing Stan Lee himself. Literally everyone is unique and worth playing. Even if you know about these characters or not, they're worth Googling and they're worth checking out here. Hell, this game even finally showed me Namor's moveset, something I never thought I'd ever experience in a video game. Don't underestimate the speedo because the dude wrecks by the way. You just feel like a true superhero smacking these enemies around, or you could even be a super villain. And boy, do villains feel so strong and fun to play as. With that roster count, not to mention the color and costume changes, Marvel Infinity War will keep you occupied for a pretty long time. In addition to the remakes of old school 16-bit superhero games, you can punch and blast your way through two original story modes, a training mode in the X-Men Danger Room, boss rush and uh whatever this is while it's easy to get lost in just any of these modes and 
trying out the diverse roster, I highly recommend checking out the Infinity War story first. Here the game gives a pretty decent tutorial showing you how to do your character's different moves and even show off the game's support system. What's cool about the support characters in particular is that it's not just any random character that comes down to help you. Whoever uses the radio item to call up a support will bring in an AI partner that is actually affiliated to that character. Think something like Thor and Lady Sif. Nick Fury and Dum Dum Dugan or Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen. Even though these characters aren't playable unfortunately, you can pretty much say that there's at least one support character for each member of the stacked roster. But the game doesn't even stop there. Depending on certain stages, the game itself will call in a support character for you. These characters in particular being my favorite because they include deep cuts of characters that the casual Marvel fan won't even know about. The possibilities are endless. With the support system, I really like the fact that you can still get huge enjoyment from the game playing solo. Though I do recommend playing some couch co-op with a friend or two because the combo potential only gets crazier with the added play. Players. Supports can do the same a little bit as well, but it's crazy with friends playing. With controls that are so easily accessible and so much Marvel history sprinkled throughout, this is something a superhero fan of any age would want to try out. We even have iconic character moves and sound effects from the beloved Marvel vs. Capcom series. <laughs> If you'd like to get your hands on this nostalgic journey yourself, all you need is a PC. There is a Mac version as well, but unfortunately the file doesn't work as of the making of this video. At least I couldn't on my Mac. Let me know in the comments if you end up being able to. But I was able to get the game to run on my decade old laptop from college. So this game can run on just about anything if you know how to do it. Most importantly, make sure to support the creator of Marvel Infinity War, Z Vitor. While you can follow updates on their Twitter and YouTube pages, the Patreon is where you'll get the biggest edge on getting the latest updates to Z Vitor's projects. You might also be able to give them some input on their creative process by joining. So check it out if you're interested show your support but this question's for you though will you be playing marvel infinity war for yourself let me know in the comments below don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for updates on everything super now if you don't mind me i'm about to get back into this amazing game peace